It is the 1st of the 12th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Uh, I got out of Occupy Des Moines about 8 p.m. or so today. Um, no viewers come down to see me, but I don't blame you. I didn't give you any warning. Um, and I will do a, another video on my experience and my words and what I saw uh, kind of thing after the report. So stay tuned for that. Uh, let's get started tonight on SOT.net. Stranded dolphin is improving. It's the fifth dolphin found dead in Mississippi. Gulfport, Mississippi, a stranded dolphin found alive in the marsh near Fort Morgan, Alabama, continues to improve. Uh, and another dead dolphin, the fifth in the past week, was found in Waveland on Monday, he said. Well, the story goes on to continue that they've had over 600 confirmed uh, dolphin deaths in Mississippi um, since, like, since like April, I believe. Um, so definitely something to check out, uh, again, uh, what's going on in the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, they're not saying exactly what killed these dolphins, but they should be south of where they are, chasing the fish. United Kingdom, uh, I reported on this last night, floods hit the northern flowing rain, gales, and even a tornado. And again, uh, they just wreaked havoc and major flooding, car stranded. Uh, we all know the story. Um... Some parts of Scotland were battered by a fortnight's rain in just 24 hours. And, of course, they've got videos and pictures galore on that. Uh, that's about all they have new tonight. Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, they've got a story, Oklahoma disaster zone. Tornadoes, drought, weather extremes, earthquakes, and now sinkholes. Uh, residents in Beckham County near Sayre say a massive sinkhole suddenly appeared overnight. They say it's so big that a small house can fit inside of it. So uh, the unstableness continues in what is Oklahoma. What the frack, right? Uh, here comes the economy stuff. Euro collapse plus Iran strike equals Armageddon. Uh, so they're throwing this story both together. Uh, basically the euro is falling apart and uh, Israel's threatening to attack Iran. <clears throat> and why the red dragon may soon be seeing nothing but red, China's going broke faster than we are in the United States. China's debt is about 36 trillion yen, or 5.68 trillion US dollars. This number is astronomical considering that it has a little more than one third of the US total debt. But the difference between the U.S. and China is that the U.S. national income per capita is $47,140. Ooh, hire me. And uh, whereas China's national income per capita is $4,260. Um, so yeah, as far as them tweaking the numbers, China's going broke too. We're all in this together, the entire planet. Federal Reserve coordinates global effort for central bank printing to avoid 2012 year of reckoning. All according to plan. The dominoes are falling, and of course they have videos on that. And another one, House of Cards, S&P drops ratings, changes on 37 global banks. Over to the watchers. Uh, they've got the, the Ecuador volcano eruption still ongoing. Uh, they're seeing the ash cloud up to four kilometers in the sky and pyroclastic flows approximately one kilometer down the volcano flank could be seen on Tuesday. And they've got webcams and stuff. Uh, another story, 2011, $14 billion weather disasters, most in the United States history. And it's still December 1st, right? Uh, tornado storm strike the United Kingdom, and that's that um, EF0 I was telling you about last night. A once in a decade Santa Ana winds to hit area from Utah to California, United States. And this is that Lando Cane uh, that some of the guys are talking about. Uh, Southern California, San Francisco, Las Vegas, Salt Lake City, and other locations from Utah to California as far western Arizona bracing for potentially damaging winds. Here we go with these windstorms, windstorms. Uh, Santa Ana. The Wasatch Range will experience especially powerful east and northeast winds in this situation. The setup in the area is known as a Bora. Major Pacific Storm Faith is now a Category 4 on the 1 through 5 scale. 
One side of Southern California will be dry with damaging winds. The other side will be saturated. Uh, earth currents in Norway caused by solar, uh, solar wind stream. A solar wind stream is buffeting Earth's magnetic field and this is causing electrical currents to flow in the Earth itself at high latitudes. And as the, the aurora lights. Today a magnetic disturbance began around 1200 UTC. Uh, the shaking of the Earth's magnetic field induced a ground current around our observatory. This is a good sign that we see the northern lights tonight. And uh, that's about all they have new tonight. Over to geology news. Now they've got a very interesting story. Uh, Earth is overdue for a magnetic reversal. Now bear in mind this is from NASA. And uh, scientists understand the Earth's magnetic field has flop, flipped its polarity many times over the millenna, millennia. In other words, if you were above 800,000 years ago, uh, the facing what we call north with a magnetic compass in your hand, the needle would point to the south. And they're saying we're more than overdue for a flip. But again, it's uh, never a straight answer, right? And over to the RSOE. Um, tonight, of, of course, they got a big landslide in Indonesia, a uh, cold wave in India, extreme weather statewide out of Malta. Uh, of course, the, the weather in England, uh, Ireland's got reports out of extreme weather, of course, uh, two different reports. And uh, that's about all they have new tonight. And finally, over to the nuclear stuff, ENE News. Um, I'm just going to read out the headline. Reporter tries radiation cleanup. I felt mentally exhausted and my muscles ached after not such hard physical labor. Two days later, from the area declared contam or two days later, rice from the area declared contaminated. Study: no temperature readings for the concrete floor. Outcome based on TEPCO projections of decay and heat used by computer model from Westinghouse. So they're not giving us the right numbers. They're giving us projections from computer models because they're not even bothering to... Uh, new December 1st government study reactor pressure vessel may be tilted after a uh, corium melted through the concrete floor up to 200 centimeters deep. And AP reveals doubts by nuclear experts. The fuel is no longer there. Measuring temps of empty cores, meaningless. Nobody knows where and how the hot melted fuel really is. And the NHK, it is a very severe accident. Nuclear fuel at reactor number one may have melted through 65 centimeters of concrete. Only 37 um, centimeters at its thinnest point. And a lab finds fish with cesium at 30 times government limit. It was first thought currents would swiftly dilute the radiation, and they have a video attached to that. Newly surfaced video from for some time, NRC staff has contemplated that all reactor cores are X vessels due to time without cooling. And U.S. media only mentions report about melt through at reactor number one, not at two and three. And three is where the MOX fuel. Um, plutonium mix fuel was, which makes it extra, extra dirty. And uh, NHK, over half of the fuel has melted out of reactors number two and three, says TEPCO assumed worst scenario. They have a video on that. And I'm going to leave you tonight with this one. There's a mayor in Peru City that Stronium is drinking, that Stronium in drinking water is making people homosexual. Just remember, have fun today. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.